In this video I will talk about how to use text-to-speech and which voices you should choose on an iPhone running the Kindle app. So let's begin! I have already done a lot of videos about using text-to-speech and neural voices and so on on an iPhone and iPad. In this video I will show you once again which voices you should choose and no other voices and also how it works in the Kindle app on your iPhone. So let's switch to the table cam like this. Here we have my iPhone with the Kindle app started. So here of course you can read as normal with the Kindle app as you see. No problem doing that. But if we want to use text-to-speech, I've shown how to do that, but just two fingers down. The surface. Matthew saw the spring suddenly glow golden with a marvelously beautiful light. Around the water, the green tops of oak trees were cast with the same gilded illumination. And for a moment, Matthew realized the power that Fount Royal held over its citizens. A place carved from the wild, fenced, and tamed, baptized in. Sweat and tears, made useful by sheer human will and muscle. It was a dream and a damnation too. This desiring to control the wilderness, to shape it with ass blade and shovel. Many had perished in the building of this town. Many more would die before it was a harbor city. But who could deny them? As you saw, it works great. But uh, I have a quite fast speed, as you heard because I read quite fast with using text-to-speech together with reading at the same time. So when I use this feature, I read the text at the same time as text-to-speech speaks it to me. That way I have full concentration and can read really fast and a lot of books. But how to do this then? Well, just go into settings on your phone. Uh, like so. Here we go into accessibility. Here we have spoken content. Here we should activate speak screen as you see there. Swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to hear the content of the screen. You should have speech controller off, highlight content off because that doesn't work. And because since iOS 15, Apple has destroyed the highlight content with using text-to-speech, sadly. So that should be off. Typing feedback, you don't need to go in there. Voices, we should go in there soon. And I set it to default language English because I read English books. But of course, if you read in another language, you can set the default language to your language and detect languages should be on. And the reason for that is that if you have detect languages on, then you can, if um, you read a book in, for example, Swedish, I am Swedish, so if I read a book in Swedish, then it will feel that this book is in Swedish and uses the Swedish voice I have chosen. So, and also if you have a part in the book in another language, let us say Spanish, then this will switch to Spanish while reading the Spanish part. That's nice. And here below you set the speaking rate, how fast it should read the text for you. That's important. And also in pronouns you can add how it should uh, uh, pronounce different words if you feel that uh, it doesn't pronounce a word correctly. You can add that there. But now we should go into voices. This is the important part because we use, we should use the neural engine voices from Apple. And the reason for that is the neural engine voices is a lot better than the other voices. Uh, they sound much more natural and they sound almost as uh, a real narrator. And neural engine voices learn the more they read. So the more you use that voice, it will learn a lot and build up a 
database with all text you read and so on so it will be a lot better but here you set the voices you should use for different languages uh, for English here you only have the Siri voices to choose from you should not choose the other voices you should always go into Siri so if you want a English Australian voice you go into Siri here and choose a voice or if you want an English India, you should choose Siri, not the other, because the other voices is not neural engine voices. All only the Siri voices are neural engine voices. So always choose the Siri voice. No matter which language you choose, you should always choose the Siri voices. So I prefer the US English voices, so no of these voices you should choose, no of those. You should go down to Siri voices. And here we have five different Siri voices that you can choose from. My preferred voice at the moment is voice four, but sometimes I choose one of the other because I want some change when reading books with this, but you can uh, of course, listen to them by clicking play. Hi, I'm Siri. 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 Those five voices you can choose from, and at the moment I use voice four, as I said. So that is how you can choose a voice. Just click so it is checked for the voice you want for that language. And this is only from the Siri voices, as I said. No other voices. And you go into all the different languages you want to use and do the same with them and choose a Siri voice. I have chosen for Swedish too. The only two languages I use is English and Swedish. So the Swedish voices I have here, four different to choose from but you should only choose the Siri voices so go into Siri and here you have two different voices to choose from hey you're the Siri hey you're the Siri so those two Swedish voices I can choose and both are neural engine voices so always choose the Siri voices the only voices that you should choose no other voices because the other voices is crap, really, when it comes to text-to-speech. So only choose Siri voices because they are always much, much, much better. So after you have chosen that voice you need, you want to use, then you are actually ready to start reading books in the Kindle app. Let's go back to the Kindle app. And as I said, just two fingers from the top and down. The surface. Matthew saw the spring suddenly glow golden with a marvelously beautiful light. Around the water, the green tops of oak trees were cast with the same gilded illumination. And for a moment, Matthew realized the power that Fount Royal held over its citizens. As you saw, it works great. And it also turned the pages for you easily without any touch of your fingers on the display. It turns them automatically for you. So it's very easy to hold your iPhone like this. Let's zoom out the, the, the camera again, my table camera, like so. So if I want to hold my phone when reading with text-to-speech, I can just do this. And then hold the phone like this. And uh, it's so nice to hold it in a leather case and read a book. So that's why I also bought a leather case because I could hold it in the edge like this when reading. Works great. So that's quite easy. And uh, once again, if you do this, you have some controls here. You can uh, go back and forward from uh, pages and you can also raise the speed there. 
but I recommend doing that in the settings instead of there. So this is very useful and how I use it with the Kindle app on my iPhone and iPad. By the way, this works exactly the same on the iPad, no difference. I've already done a lot of videos using text-to-speech with the iPad, but not with the Kindle app. But the Kindle app works the same and uses text-to-speech the same way. So it is a really nice feature reading books like this. And I can also recommend to have uh, not too much text on every page because uh, you want to follow along when listening to the text gets spoken for you. So if you have smaller text, it will be a lot more text to follow along. But you should not have too big either because then it will do some um, page turns, a lot of page turns all the time. So when reading a book, you will have a normal text size that makes it uh, easy to read and follow along while talking. So let's go back to my face cam. So that was how easy it is to use text to speech on an iPhone and iPad using the Kindle app and the voiceover feature with neural engine voices. That sounds awesome. Uh, actually, uh, I prefer doing this over listening to audiobooks because this is much easier to comprehend and uh, you have uh, the text and read it at the same time while listening. So this is awesome. This is an excellent way of uh, listening to a book while reading it. So I can highly recommend doing that. It's uh, one of the best way for me to read a lot of books every year using this text-to-speech feature and the reason why i use the kindle app now is uh, two things the apple books app is broken and totally useless at the moment after ios 16 and also the kindle app syncs with my ebook readers my kindle ebook reader so i often use the kindle ebook reader in bed before i go to sleep and i also use the kindle reader when i'm outside in direct sunlight so all my books syncs with my iPhone, iPad and my Kindle e-reader. So that why I, that's why I use the Kindle app nowadays, because it syncs with all my devices, so I can read the same books and always have everything in sync. So I recommend using Kindle app with text-to-speech on your iPhone and iPad. Okay, let's go to the outro now. Bye.